And that's what's happening. A manhunt, a murder spree, a war. The battle ended late this afternoon in Arapahoe County after a day of terror. We have a series of stories. First, let's go live to Swedish Medical Center. That's where the survivors of today's rampage were taken, and Brian Moss is there. Brian? Phil, Ed, we just got word. Eugene Thompson, the suspect in all this, who turned a gun on himself and shot himself in the head, was declared dead here at Swedish Hospital just a few minutes ago. Prior to uh, shooting himself, Thompson had shot an Arapahoe County deputy, Arthur Corky Hilton. The 37-year-old deputy is in fair condition here at Swedish with gunshot wounds to uh, the left shoulder and his right arm. And 18-year-old Jake Carper, who for a time was held at gunpoint by Thompson, is in serious condition here at Swedish. He went into uh, surgery about 45 minutes ago. A second Arapahoe County deputy, who at first was thought to have been shot by Thompson, in fact was only hit by flying glass. Dan Thomas was released from Swedish about 45 minutes ago as well. And now, as Jim West reports, the violence that put these people in the hospital began very early this morning. It began here in Jefferson County about 3 o'clock this morning. A woman telephoned the county emergency number to report a burglary in progress, but hung up before police could get any information. The call was traced, but by the time deputies got to the home, the suspect, woman, and her car were gone. Then, shortly after 6 o'clock this morning, the Levere's Fire Department got a report of shootings in the Sunshine Acres subdivision near Chatfield Reservoir in Douglas County. Police say the gunman took his hostage to her mother-in-law's home here, where he shot both of them. Two men in the house, husbands of the two women, were not harmed. Police say the gunman, now alone and still in the same car, drove to the Highlands Ranch area. Witnesses say the woman who lives here was getting into a rented limousine to go to the airport. While the stunned limousine driver watched, the gunman appeared, forced the woman back into the house. Police say he separated the woman from her young child and husband and then assaulted her. He sped off in the stolen car, crashing into a fence on South Colorado Boulevard just a few minutes later and fleeing on foot. Shortly after the accident happened this morning and witnesses saw the man running up Colorado Boulevard, Sheriff Sullivan came out and asked that all residents stay in their homes. He said he was really concerned for their safety. Most of these houses are empty. Uh, kids are at school, the, both parents are at work. Uh, it could be in any one of them. We just hope we can find him before four or five when a lot of these people are going to be coming home. We have a very dangerous man uh, at large, and he may be armed with an automatic weapon. Then, just after 2.30 this afternoon, shots rang out only a couple of blocks away from the police command center. In just a matter of seconds, one Arapahoe County deputy fell to the gunman's bullets, and a second was injured by flying glass and debris. Sheriff Pat Sullivan gathered one of his fallen men into his arms, placed him in his own car, and sped backwards out of the area exposed to the gunman. The injured deputy was placed in an ambulance, and along with the other deputy who was shot, taken to Swedish Hospital. The owner of this house, a hostage for five hours and also wounded, told oncoming police that the gunman was upstairs on the second floor. And that's where deputies found 20-year-old Eugene Thompson, shot through the head, apparently by his own hand. This is the weapon Thompson apparently used to wreak his death and injury this long day. A weapon of war used against two sheriff's deputies today. The suspect murder weapon in two murders earlier today. And then it was over. But for the victim's friends, family, and fellow officers, the question, why, echoes in their minds. Jim West, Criminal Justice Specialist, News 4. Once again, the initial information on all this was that two Arapahoe County deputies had been shot. But as you heard Jim West just report, only one was shot. The second, Dan Thomas, was hit by flying glass. He was treated and released here at Swedish Hospital about 45 minutes ago. Thomas is a senior deputy with the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Department. He was sitting in the back seat, apparently with his wife. He smiled as he left. He uh, got into that car under his own power. He was, again, only hit by flying glass. He had been involved in a house-to-house -house search when the gunfire began, but apparently it was a bullet that went through some glass. It shattered the glass. The glass hit him. He was treated here and then released. But again, the most up-to-date information, Eugene Thompson, the suspect in all this, is dead. He was pronounced dead just a few minutes ago here at Swedish Medical Center. So the toll today, three dead, two others shot and wounded. Reporting live from Swedish, Brian Moss, News 4. Okay, thanks, Brian. Yeah.